Hey everyone, Tony Chiguardo from the Port Washington Public Library here on uh, our YouTube channel's show, Hoopla Diaries. And uh, on this show, um, members of our staff talk about the different things that we find on Hoopla, which is the digital streaming service that's available through the Port Library and through a lot of the libraries uh, here in Nassau County and throughout the country. And um, there are some really great things to find there, as I have been uh, finding um, in the weeks that I've really been exploring the service uh, since we've sort of uh, all been a bit cooped up. And now that we're able to, in many places, get back to the libraries, it's still great to have this service available uh, because there's just so much and there are so many cool ways to browse, which is what I'm really getting into. Um, it started for me this week where I had been uh, in a store and saw something about Tesla, not just the car, but it was talking about Tesla and Edison. So I thought to myself, I wonder if there's anything about Tesla and Edison. Sure enough, on Hoopla, I found a book called Tesla versus Edison. This book goes kind of off into a strange place about um, Edison uh, inventing something called the spirit phone. So it's really interesting where it went. But nonetheless, there was Tesla and Edison both. I said, all right, that's kind of cool. So after that, um, it got into my head to, to look up some books. I read a lot of music books. And lately, uh, obviously being in the house, listening to music and also watching television. And a lot of the old TV series uh, have been being reshown and people binge watch and watch marathons. So I thought, you know, what about reading some books about television? Why not? And uh, I just went into the ebook area, typed in television, and uh, just found a really neat collection of responses on my first hit. First thing I got was Television Finales, which is a book about last episodes of TV shows by a guy named Douglas Howard, uh, which is really interesting. It's all about the last shows, whether or not they wrapped up the plot lines, the type of ratings responses they got, the type of response to the show coming to an end, all that sort of thing. Uh, Ed McMahon, uh, who was uh, Johnny Carson's old sidekick, co-host, wrote a book called When Television Was Young. It looks interesting about the history of TV. And then this was really unique. I thought Arcadia Publishing does a whole bunch of these books about areas. There's a, a Port Washington book. And sometimes you see them on spinner racks in bookstores, and you can get them obviously through Amazon. And they have an Images of America series, which is that main series. But many of the books talk about the television in each city or town. So there is an Arcadia Publishing Images of America series book about television in Philadelphia, television in Washington. Uh, so it talks about television in New Jersey. It talks about shows that were shot there, shows that were unique to that area. So if you're from that region, grew up in that region, went to school in that region, uh, and you want to have some memories back of TV shows, things like that, or if you're just a, his, a historian's curious about uh, different areas and, and you know what went on, this will give you some clues. Um, then, of course, for me, I always jump into something having to do with music. For our Port Washington residents, you might have fun listening to our dear friend John Ford, John has played at the library many times when we uh, go back to uh, live performance in the library. I hope to certainly get John back. Uh, John, as many people know, is a member of a group called the Straubs. And there are some Straubs records available on Hoopla. But very interestingly, there's a group that um, John formed in the mid-70s, Hudson Ford. It was mostly a duo, but you know, obviously surrounded by musicians. It's not a... a you know, an acoustic folk duo or anything like that. But Hudson Ford made three tremendous records for uh, the label A&M in the mid-70s. All three of those records are in a box set, and that box set can be listened to right on a hoopla. So anybody that wants to hear some of John's great music, whether you know John or not, I encourage you to go and listen to some of the great rock and roll that was made by Hudson Ford um, Brilliant songwriting, as you would expect. Uh, also, 
with the library, I've been doing uh, these Thursday night roundtable talks and talking about groups, some of whom are one-hit wonders. And there's a one-hit wonder that I mentioned, uh, Smoking in the Boys' Room. And it was done by a group called Brownsville Station. And in a lot of the reading about the one-hit wonders while I was putting my presentation together, it talked about what a great group Brownsville Station was. Well, the truth is, I didn't know anything about Brownsville Station beyond their big hit song, Smoking in the Boys' Room. Well, in music, I typed in Brownsville Station, and there are the Brownsville Station albums. So something for me to look forward to listening to. I am also a fan uh, of a group called Status Quo. They are one of the biggest groups in England. They were one of the longest running rock bands uh, in England. They finally just, I think, retired after uh, 60 years or so of being together in various incarnations. And um, they finally hung it up. But their big hit in the United States was a song called Pictures of Matchstick Men. They really didn't have any other hits. But they were so big in the UK that they opened the UK version of Live Aid when Live Aid happened in 1985. It turns out if you go on to Hoopla and type in Status Quo, you get a ton of the Status Quo uh, records, many of which were available, uh, you know, it, are available in versions that were uh, originally only at, as imports. So you can now hear them in their uh, original form on Hoopla. Uh, also, I was surprised to see that a lot of Paul McCartney's recent releases within the last 10 or 15 years, where Paul has really come back as an incredibly strong songwriter. People sometimes criticize Paul with regard to his lyrics and things like that. Uh, but uh, there's always something nice to find and something enjoyable to find on a Paul McCartney record. With these last three or four albums that he's done over the course of the last 15, 20 years, uh, and a few records that he's done under the name The Firemen, there's some tremendous stuff. Uh, there's an album called Electric Arguments that I would recommend, which was The Firemen. Uh, but Egypt Station, Memory Almost Full, and Now, uh, New, I'm sorry, uh, New, are all available as deluxe editions in Hoopla. Definitely take a look at uh, or listen to those if you go on to Hoopla. Uh, finally, television. Acorn TV. Uh, if you go into something like um, what are the BBC shows, a famous show like Foil's War or Miss Marple, obviously you know, those series are available. That's why I'm suggesting that. But, and the Father Brown mysteries. But uh, when you get into those, the British shows, up in the corner, you can see the company that made the, the series or is carrying the series, distributing the series. In this case, it's Acorn. And if you click Acorn in Hoopla, you will get a listing of all of these tremendous BBC shows. Now, Acorn is also available as a deluxe paid service for Amazon Prime or through Amazon Prime. Yes, you do get a larger selection but some of Acorn TV's and BBC's best series and best shows are available for free for you through Hoopla Digital. Uh, you even get more recent shows like The Detectorists, uh, and uh, um, you know there's one series that's, that that I, I'm, the name is escaping me, but it's a it's a, a Bake Off series where the the best they try to find the best new British bakers. So there's a lot of stuff to be had there. Again, tying in with movies for me um, and music, I wanted to finally uh, watch the Glenn Campbell documentary about the late Glenn Campbell, uh, who was an amazing guitar player and uh, interpreter, uh, vocalist, and um, uh, he uh, uh, went on a tour knowing that it would be his last. He was suffering from Alzheimer's at the time, but it is... it. Uh, is an, a hopeful and beautiful and and spiritual musical movie uh, called I'll Be Me. It's a document of that tour. And, uh, it, you know, yeah, it's, it's a bit depressing, but overall, it is just a beautiful thing to watch. And the other thing that I found that is a lot of fun with Hoopla when it comes to the browsing is the idea that um, 
And I go back to the beginning of, of this episode where I was saying about television. If you go into a television-related book, when you open the book up, it shows you, just like in the, in the old days of a card catalog, it shows you how to kind of do cross-referencing. So it's wonderful because here it is, and just like in a library catalog, when you're looking for a book in a digital library catalog, the book comes up and there are the um, subjects underneath. So if you bring up a book like when television was young or um, like television finales, you'll see like the subject matter would be performing arts, television, history, and criticism. Click on that, and now you've opened up a whole new world. And uh, again, it's the same way it works with our library's catalog. But in this instance, what's great is it's, it's, it's instant gratification. <laughs> if you really like something that you see there, you can click on it, and uh, you can get to watch and enjoy it. So um, that's about all for Hoopla Diaries for me today. My name is Tony Trigordo, and uh, again, uh, join us again next week. And uh, check back on some of the old episodes with uh, Jonathan Gildry. And uh, hope to have uh, mem other members of our Port Washington Public Library staff join you with their uh, Hoopla recommendations. And uh, meanwhile, uh, everybody stay well, and we'll see you soon.